new YouTube family. This is Shirley coming to you with a March tag. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm just trying my very best to stay healthy, but I feel like I'm coming down with the cold. But I wanted to show you guys my top. This was my birthday top when I went out for brunch for when I went to the beach. And I just wanted to show you guys that because it was my favorite thing for my birthday. So, hope you guys, well, you, there's a picture somewhere on Instagram where you're able to see the full thing because it's pretty long. Anyways, how are you guys doing? How is life? I am here surviving day by day, just the regular mundane part of life, which is hard all by itself. Um, I've decided to do a March tag. It's a makeup style tag that I got from Samantha March. I just went and pulled her information up and her questions was on the bottom. So definitely wanted to do, wanted to definitely do the tag. Well, anyways, I'll have it on, in the bottom of the description bar, hopefully. I'm sorry if you guys have not seen anything lately, but I apologize. It's 10 questions, okay? All right, here are the questions. What kind of eye primer do you use and why? I use, mine is from Shop Miss A. Here it is. It's cheap, it's reasonable, and it doesn't bother me. I used to have an e.l.f. one. I don't know where it is. I'm very, I'm a person that loses things easily, so I'm sorry. And I get excited when I rediscover them or find them. So eventually I'll, I'll find my e.l.f. primer, which I also love. And when I do, I'll obviously let you guys know. But here is the backup. It's Clean Colors Eyeshadow Primer that I do wear when I um, apply my eyeshadow. All right. Number two, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? Well, you guys already know that I'm really obsessed with mauve or rose or deep rose. This, there's a lot of these beautiful bold colors that I love so much in this beautiful palette that just make it makes me really excited. So definitely anything that's a nice mold bold look that's that particular color range that makes me pretty excited. All right. What eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why? I've tried doing blue. You know what? I'm gonna make that a, a goal of mine this year. Do more blues. Every time I do a blue, it looks washed out. And I think there's a way or a technique I need to learn to make sure that the blue pops out really nice. So I'll be, that'll be what I'll do for April for sure, is to do a nice blue look. But that's one of my um, parts that is hard for me to try to do. It's a beautiful blue look. So it's not the least, it's just that I need to attempt it even more. Do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner? Black or brown? I, I wear black and it's a black one that is not really good. I feel like it's off black now. And it's by e.l.f. And um, I don't see it right now. But definitely it's... Um, It's e.l.f. and I also use this, um, to do the wing, this is Lyat, and I believe this is from Shop Miss A as well. This is a nice pigment too, for sure. There you go. Cover Girl or Maybelline Mascara? Come on, you know you are one, one way or the other, and I'm definitely both, but mainly Maybelline. If you could have your own brow permanent done or not wear any blush for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I would have the brows before the blush for sure. Absolutely. Uh, does your best friend or, or you wear more makeup? They wear more makeup than me because they wear theirs on the daily and I don't. I, I do mine every other day if I'm in a very good mood or if someone at the job asked me to make sure I put on something nice so they could look at it the next day. So it's on demand at work. And if they ask, I'll get a, an extra 10, 15 minutes to create a look. So yeah. Uh, 
who taught you how to do makeup? I'm going to say YouTube has taught me how to do makeup. And also my sister, she is a professional makeup artist. And she was the one who started applying it on my face back in 2013. So I'm uh, still new to the game, still learning. And yeah. Are you a fan? Are you a fan or a cream product? Blush, bronzer, contour, etc. Why or why not? I'm not a big cream product person. I prefer powder and my favorite thing to do is contour. Absolutely. All right, because cream goes, it gets everywhere and that's one of the main reasons why I don't do cream often. Are you a project panner? What projects are you in right now? Well, I have one that I've been so thrilled by, my L'Oreal, since last year. I hit the pan on this, so I'm still trying to continue on finishing the rim of it and things of that nature, and I am really excited about it. I also discovered that it had a mirror, maybe a few months ago. So definitely, really into the pan project. I haven't bought anything so far this year, so I'm extremely proud of myself. All right, and the final one is setting sprays. Do you believe in it? Which is your holy grail? My holy grail is the the Fix Plus by Mac. I'm gonna have to buy a new one. I might get these little miniature ones that everyone has in the different kinds of scents. So I'll eventually get to Savara very soon, hopefully in the summer, and I'll get myself some new bottles. And it is a holy grail because it is my finishing result, which just puts everything into a line and get everything to look magically lovely for me. So definitely, it's a holy grail in my books, you guys. That is my March tag. Uh, I'm going to see if I can write these information down for you guys. And so that if you wanted to um, also participate in the tag, go ahead and do it. Let me know so that I could watch it and I'll be more than happy to watch the whole thing because this was really interesting. You, you guys continue on being a blessing to others and I will absolutely chat with you guys very soon. Continue on being a blessing to others. Ciao.